Everything you need to know about the rift fish in under 2 minutes. The rift fish, as you probably are aware, can only be attained by fishing, and it has a max snack size of 2. Once you've used the rift fish, it stays there for 10 seconds before disappearing, and in this time your trio and other trios can immediately jump into it and follow you. From my very limited testing with a pro fishing rod, it was 9% catch rate from fishing. However, this is probably more like somewhere between 5 to 10% in that range, and with a normal fishing rod, it's almost definitely less than this. I think the harpoon has the same fishing rates as the normal fishing rod, so I'm going to guess the harpoon stays in this kind of area, but I'm not entirely sure. There's very limited data on fishing rates right now. If you want to upgrade your fishing rod to a pro fishing rod, it's 50 gold to do it. However, most of the time you're not going to be able to do this in a competitive match because 50 gold is actually quite a lot to get in an early game. And most of the time your teammate who is going to be fishing is already going to be fishing at the point while they're collecting gold. The best spots for fishing right now are Stealthy Stronghold because there's 17 fishing spots in here and then 23 on the Flopper Island if you manage to get both of these. Slurpee has a total of 52 fishing spots around it. Remember these are possible fishing spots. And this is a spread out over a very large area across the whole swamp, however definitely the largest collection of fishing spots in general. Misty has 24, an extremely powerful POI this season, purely based on the fact that it has really good loot, and these fishing spots to the north of it. And then Camp Cod has 14. So when do you actually want to use your Rift Fish? In a competitive game, you don't really want to use it before 4th zone, unless it's more like an arena game where you're just going to be W keying, because you're going to be beamed out of the sky, in particular when players are looking for Storm Surge tags. The first time you'd probably want to use it is to get to height in 5th zone if you have a max 50-50 zone. You can just pop the rift, land on height if you're a psycho team. The most frequently used time for it is during first moving, as this is when most of teams will use their rift. And if you look up in the sky, this is when the most players will be flying. If you use your rift after this, it's very easy for the team on height to beam you because you're probably going to be the only team up there since most people will have already used your rift. So use your rifts carefully. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. I've been Resub. Peace! <laughs>